Hello and welcome to CBAMReports.com. My name is Maxim Chev and I am Managing Director. Today I will show you how you can create your CBAM report and automatically upload it to the CBAM Transitional Registry. It can be fast, easy and convenient. I'm going to be using our proprietary software which is called CBAM Report Generator. It is an Excel file which is with the interface very familiar to most users. All fields are clearly marked and uh, supplied with the pop-up help uh, messages. Uh, you can easily fill in um, this template with all the required information. When the template is filled, by a click of a button, it generates an XML file, which then can be imported into the CBAM Transitional Registry, validated and submitted. It can be as easy as that. You will go to uh, your CBAM Transitional Registry to My Quarterly Reports, select Q4 of 2023 and click Upload. Select the file which is uh, created by our CBAM Report Generator and it will automatically upload. Now we can see that all the goods that we previously entered into our CBAM report generator are here and uh, that our suppliers that we also entered were also uh, properly imported. Now you can click edit validate and voila everything is validated that means that all information uh, that was entered into the excel file was uh, properly imported into the CBAM transitional registry now by clicking submit the report will go uh, to its final stage but now let us have a quick look at our CBAM report generator how it looks and what needs to be entered this is an Excel file uh, which has several sheets. A sheet called header where you enter your basic information about your company and uh, about uh, your importer which in most cases is your company. Then for each of the imported goods you will have a separate sheet and as for each imported item you may have more than one supplier uh, our tool also allows to have as many uh, supplier filings here as needed. So in the header sheet we feel um, very basic information. Reporting period which is Q4, year which is 2023, um, your EORI number, your name and your role uh, which again can be selected from the um, drop-down menu and uh, in most cases uh, it is going to be uh, 01 importer of all goods the next section actor address it is information uh, about your company and uh, there are many fields that may be filled but only one field is required which is your city uh, the next section is importer and importer address now, in most cases, if uh, you are the importer of the goods, again, you simply put your company name here and only your city here. Other fields um, which are marked in gray are not required to be filled in. At the end of the sheet, you put your name, your position and your town and country as signature place. Very easy. Then we go to uh, the next sheet, which is good number one, which you supposedly imported. It starts with providing an item number, which is automatically filled for you. Then comes the HS code, which can be selected from the drop down menu. In this example, um, we select um, HS code 2523. 10 0, 0, which is cement clinkers then you enter the country of origin and go to imported quantity section 
Here you list the requested procedure, which is in most cases 0 or 1, uh, which is a release of imported goods into the EU territory. Again, it's going to be pre-filled for you. Import area by default is EU. Uh, indicator of inward processing is set to zero uh, because supposedly we have our regular import procedure and not import processing. And the only other thing which is left to select here is a measurement unit, uh, which can be either tons or kilograms or megawatt hours. In the current example, we select tons. Uh, rest information in this section will be automatically populated by the data that you enter below. In the next sections, goods emissions, you may have as many uh, suppliers as you need. Uh, in the current example, we're going to be having only two suppliers. So um, supposedly we imported our cement clinker from Turkey. Uh, for supplier number one, we have producing country Turkey. Uh, and then uh, we need to fill in operator ID and installation information. In most cases, uh, they will be similar. Uh, so for uh, the current purposes, uh, we will um, simply put operator name uh, as Turkish Cement. So supposedly it's a company that manages uh, certain uh, cement producing plants in Turkey. In the operator address section, you need to fill only two fields, country and city, and uh, other fields such as uh, operator address, uh, may be left blank. Uh, the next section is contact details. Uh, this is a compulsory section, so please do provide uh, contact details of a person who may clarify for the Commission in case of a need um, information uh, about your imports. The next section is installation ID. Um, here, under uh, installation ID, you can put um, any number or letters. So for example, uh, uh, let's say we have uh, installation ID number three, installation name Istanbul plant one, and establishment country Turkey. All other information, which includes address and uh, GPS coordinates, is not compulsory. Uh, for that reason, it's uh, highlighted in gray. This is almost it. The last section is uh, procedure measure, which is basically the amount of goods that you have imported from that particular um, operator and for that particular um, installation. And here we input seven tons. And in the next field below measurement unit, we indicate that this is tons. You may also use kilograms or uh, other measures for other goods. And uh, the very last field that you have to fill uh, for this imported good is uh, production method ID, which again is pre-populated for you and uh, you just select it from the list based on the uh, help instruction which is provided in here. And we select cement. P03. So this is pretty much it. Uh, you may have as many goods to report um, as required. And again, there may be uh, three or seven or 20 sheets. And each sheet may have as many uh, operators and installations as required. Uh, this is all automated in our CBAM report generator. Uh, so if you need to have your CBAM report done fast, easy, and convenient, do get in contact with us. Our details are provided on the website cbumreports.com. Fill in the form and we will get back to you promptly.